Hello there, Croeso, and welcome. I'm Shadow Lemmox, and I'm back here on Rackfest to do this week's weekly challenge for the solo tournament, which is a demolition race on the Racknado circuit. And with the settings, because speed isn't what we're going for here to score, I changed the uh, gearing to automatic just to give myself an easier time whenever you're getting into lots of contact deliberately with the AI. I just find it automatics much easier to handle instead of having to change gears up and down all the time depending on what sort of mess you're getting yourself into I like that start there and the aim here is to get as high a score as possible there's a bonus multiplier in the top right corner that's determined by your position in the race so as you move up through the positions your multiplier will go up up to a max of times five for being in first place and that's ideally where you want to be. You've got six laps to get yourself there. And really, as long as you're getting into the top five, you'll start getting a decent score when you start wrecking people and smashing into people. And there are plenty of opportunities to do that. So to begin with, you really just want to drive your race normally, try and get up through the positions to get to the top end of the field. Although any opportunity you can see to wreck someone or to cause some damage, take it. Those wrecking assists can save you and can build up your score quite nicely. But then once you get to the halfway point, the field spread out a bit. So that crossover point is basically carnage central. And with a high enough multiplier, you're just going to rack up loads of points. We're halfway through the race and I've already got enough a big enough score to get a gold in this challenge so it's really now just about making it to the end even if you wreck yourself though before you finish you'll still keep your score so don't uh, restart if you think you're gonna wreck and finish the challenge early if you've got a good enough score you're gonna get your gold when you finish so just stick with it keep going round Take any opportunity you can to build up that score where possible. As you can see, wrecking another wrecking assist with a times five multiplier. Those sort of things really, really help at this point of the race. But say you are getting near to the end of the race and you still haven't got a good enough score to get gold. Well, there's a little trick that you can do to get that last few points you may need to get gold and I'll show you here even though at this point I definitely don't need it to get gold it's handy to show because it's something I've used in the past where necessary to get myself that better score and here we come as we get to the end of the race you're not going to finish you're just going to hang around by the finish line and wreck people as they come around as I said uh, score is all you're after your finishing position and how fast you are doesn't really matter so even though the rest of the field will be finishing and you'll be slowly losing people to wreck into there's still a good opportunity here to build up a nice bit of extra score what you don't go over the finish line because it will finish for you and once everyone's finished and crossed the line the game will finish for finish anyway so there we go there's my score let me know in the comments how you get on and i just want to say dioch and thank you for watching